not to mm. This Friday, the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development has inaugurated the new Labor Advisory Board here in Kampala. <laughs> the 15-member team will be led by its chairperson, John O'Queen. Key among it is what is it that we can do to improve the labor relationship and remove tension between the employer and the employees and also to make it possible for the employees to feel that they are also a wanted group of in the workplace. Kiamanga its tasks will be to guide the ministry's leadership in matters related to, among others, formulation of policies. It will also monitor and evaluate the ministry's operations. It will also help me, as the minister has pledged, to take into account certain laws which have been in place and may not be understood, so that we get an interpretation that will suit everybody, and every, uh, both the employer and the employees. The board has been in absence since 2019. Present at the inauguration event where the permanent secretary, Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Agri Chibenge. Indeed, the whole ministry will be at your service to support you to achieve the targets that we will be setting for ourselves in this important area. The Minister for Gender, Labor and Social Development, Betty Amongi, whose mandate has been renewed by the President, thanked the Fountain of Honor for this yet another opportunity. All I want to thank His Excellency the President for giving me the trust and my team in the Ministry of Gender that we are all retained. Uh, I want to congratulate all of us. This has been because of the teamwork in this ministry. She, however, challenges the new board to work towards the common goal of addressing the workers' challenges. Majority of the issues in this ministry are issues of labor and employment. I think top on the agenda is the issue of compensation, which, which I want you, the team, to look at very critically. Where employers uh, are not cooperating in compensating workers who have been injured in the course of their work. Robert Nyango, UBC News.